My name is Jonas and my question for Intel is the following. In an industry that has changed so much over the years and with customers that consider anything older than six months to be obsolete, how has Intel managed to stay relevant? Even more so in current economical difficult times where companies start cutting first in innovation. Hi Jonas, my name is Sean Kale and I'm a vision strategist at Intel Labs. My job is to work with our technologists, futurists, social scientists and business strategists to formulate visions for how the innovations we're working on here in the labs could change the future. Now you asked a great question. How has Intel for more than 40 years been able to stay relevant amidst a constantly changing technology environment and often difficult uh, economic times? So the short answer to that question is it's in our DNA. Our business is founded upon the idea that we are constantly delivering better and better microprocessors every year. In order to do that, we have to reinvent the basic technology of a microprocessor, the transistor, constantly. And we also have to rethink and redesign how we architect the processors and add new capabilities. Here's one example. This is a silicon wafer containing many different experimental chips. And these chips are all trying to explore how we can take the trend of multi-core even further. So we're looking at, in this case, 48 different cores on a chip. This is just one example of a research project we've done over the last few years. Now we realize at Intel that we have a central role in the computing industry, and we have a responsibility to help the industry make use of these future processors we're developing and their new capabilities. So we're also constantly researching new systems, new software, new hardware, and new computing experiences so that we ultimately can provide the best experience for you, the customer. We do that even through really difficult economic times because we realize that that's really our best opportunity to extend our lead when everyone else is pulling back on their investments. So thank you very much for your great question and have a great day.